everyone welcome to Terra special in this video tutorial i'll be showing you how to create a point buffer in qjs so you can see on the screen these are nothing but the location of villages so now let us go to the option vector and select the geoprocessing tool and select buffer so here in the input layer you can see that the villages file has been automatically selected because i have already added to the workspace if you don't have the file over here select the button select input here you can just uh, select the option browse for layers and browse your layers and bring it over here the second thing is that we need to specify the buffer distance so here i will be giving the buffer distance as 500 meter and select the segments as 25 so that we will be accurately getting the circle shape for the buffer and now leave the end cap and join style as it is and uh, you can see that uh, this will be saved as a temporary layer that you can be exporting later or if you want you can just save it to file anything like that you can just uh, do it otherwise you can just uh, keep it as a temporary layer that can be exported later and now hit the button run and you can see the process has been completed and the buffer is being made so this is the 500 meter buffer so let me uh, break down the buffer okay now you can see that the buffer is uh, being created and it's a 500 meter buffer and it is being created for the individual villages. Now let me bring my village uh, reverse shape file. You can see here. So, and uh, these uh, regions can be affected by flood. So that is what I am trying to do with buffer. So it is not uh, same for uh, every region. It may vary based on the elevation. Likewise, a lot of factors are there. So here you can see how to create a buffer, point buffer in QJS. If you're having any other doubts on this, please do ask in the comment section. I will be answering to your questions. Thanks for watching Terra Special. Goodbye. And please do subscribe to the channel.